world, Emmanuel Joyner is accused of setting off those homemade bottle bombs at movie theaters all across the region. And this afternoon, investigators laid out their case against the buoy man. 11 News reporter Kate Amaro joins us from the newsroom with more details. Kate? Authorities said repeatedly today, Donna and Stan, that they are not treating this as a prank, which is obvious once you consider that Joyner's bail was initially set at $50 million and then it was raised to a no bond status after he faced a judge today. After three months, five movie theaters, and six bottle bomb explosions, authorities say they finally nabbed their man. Moviegoers can indeed rest a little easier with the arrest of 20 year old suspect Manuel Joyner. And to underscore that point, they staged Monday's announcement in front of one of the crime scenes, the Magic Johnson Movie Theater in Largo, where a bottle bomb exploded on May 24th. Could have been deadly if not from the effects of the bottle bombs from the potential stampede of people affected by that. Manuel Joyner is suspected of setting off bottle bombs at movie theaters across the region, from the Cinemark Theater at Arundel Mills Mall back in March to two incidents at the AMC Theater in Tyson's Corner, Virginia, the first on May 18th, the second a week later. Two people were splashed with components of that device, were treated on scene, decontaminated and released. Joyner was arrested at his home in Bowie Saturday night, and police say during an interview that he confessed to his involvement in six different explosions. Created panic, mayhem, and frankly endangered the lives of thousands of people in the region. Authorities would not comment on what led them to this suspect, if he may have been making those bombs inside his home, or what his motive may have been. All of the details of what led us there are still part of the open and ongoing investigation that we're not going to comment on yet. And because of that, the long list of felony charges Joyner's already faces will likely grow. Just today, Anne Arundel County authorities filed four felony charges against him in the Arundel Mills case. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Kate, thank you.